Hey, welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Here's another video, a comparison video between two really nice multimeters. Uh, I've done individual uh, reviews on each one of these meters. Um, this is the Amazon, uh, what is it? It's the Amazon Commercial 90DM890 uh, True RMS. In fact, it's a graphical multimeter. And to the right of it is AEMC, model number 5233. Both uh, instruments are true RMS. Uh, both of them are uh, featured packed with uh, a, a, a lot of bells and whistles. The only difference between the two is the Amazon is a uh, graphical multimeter and this isn't. So aside from that, uh, pound for pound, these two meters here are basically the same. And uh, we're just going to do a comparison. We won't go into too much uh, testing because, as you know, I'm not really set up like that. So we just want to just to tell you the things I like and what I don't like between the two. Now, uh, we're going to, let's talk about, let's start off from the, let's say, let's do, let's start from the leads, for the test leads on the Amazon. The, the test leads for the Amazon is basically ordinary test leads which you normally see out there it's kind of like that uh medium type pvc um it's 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 flexible but it's more on the stiff side they do have this the little protective shroud that's really nice but other than that just a basic meter uh that you find on um you know they could have done a little bit better than that for the price that you pay for this 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 meter i got it for a real good price when it first came out i, I purchased it and as an amazon prime member uh I, I got a real good deal on it now the the meter itself is is highly accurate i've uh i've tested it against other meters that i had and uh it compared to them as far as the uh, the measurements really nice i mean it was spot on basically so, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a really good meter. Now, this is a, a rebranded uh, SIM meter. Amazon did not make this meter. They, they do. They just rebranded it from a company called SIM, C-E-M, Instruments. And um, the same model, making model, you will find uh, who else made one? Southwire. If you look at it, Southwire makes it, made one. Um... I want to say Reed. I think Reed has one look like this. Um, I'm not going to say H. Oh, Peak Hold. I think no Peak Tech has one like this, and a few more that's out there on the market that that has the same that that had rebranded re this multimeter. But uh, overall, I really do think it's a really good multimeter. I'm just to tell you some of the features on it. And uh, we'll do a little voltage test on it. I have my Variac here, and I'll connect both of them to the Variac. And uh, we'll just go through some measurements and see just how, you know, how well each one of them fare out. So, um, back to the Amazon. Um, one of the features is microamps. You get 420 uh, milliamps, and you get duty factor right here, duty cycle. You get uh, milliamps right here, and you get uh, a 10 amp if you take an amperage. Uh, you get it's the off, and it also comes with a rechargeable battery. Also, you have AC DC voltage. You have uh, this is uh, millivolts AC DC. You get hertz. You get uh, duty cycle. Uh, you get resistance. You get continuity. You get diode and capacitance. You get temperature. You also get range, the whole rail, and up here what you get, what you get uh, data log and also, but that's you know that's something else that comes with the graphical. So I'm not going to hold that against. I'm just talking about the basic stuff between the two. Now, but uh, anyway, you do get you get get you get a graphical, you get data logging, you get the uh, trend graph, the min max, and um, let me see what else. You get a backlight where it's on now. You can also change the color of the screen. 
uh, in as as well as the font. You could change the color, the the, the le uh, numeric lettering on uh, on here. Now, uh, guys, if you, I want to ask you again. Uh, this is uh, if you're new to the channel. I want to ask that you, uh, if you liked the video or gained anything from the video, um, uh, I ask that you hit the subscribe button, uh, the like button, or and and leave, and or leave a comment uh, in support of the channel. And I ask you this, and it's for free. That's all I'm asking, just to support the channel. Now, back to the video. I would appreciate that also. Those of you who have joined the channel, uh, I really thank you. Keep on supporting the channel. I really appreciate that. Uh, those of you who've been leaving a, leaving a comment, uh, I really uh, appreciate that. I want to send a shout out to Perry. I want to send a uh, send a shout out to Chris Fifey, also who's been really commenting and uh, you know, and I really appreciate that. So, with that being said, guys, let's continue. The AEMC here, you have uh, the all function. You have low Z, AC voltage, DC voltage, uh, AC, I mean, uh, millivolts. You have resistance, continuity. You have diode, my, uh, capacitance, microfarads. You have temperature, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and you have amps. You also have the, another on and off. You have non-contact voltage, and you have a, uh, a blue backlight. Um, a, a blue backlight. You have a nice, uh, nice display here. Uh, you have a nice rubber boot that's on both of them uh, here. You have a back stand. You also have uh, a probe holder right here where you put your test lead holder uh, probes are. They could hold that. And um, this one take one 9-volt battery where you know, this one also have uh, where you could put your probes also. And like I said, this has a rechargeable battery in it. Now, um, this one also have you can have a, a hang a, a magnetic strap like the Velcro magnetic strap in here, and let me see what else it has. The test leads, at this top of the line. Uh, uh, AEMC always did put out some very very nice test leads, and this is no different. This is a uh, um, um, some very nice test leads. Now um, this. Multimeter here, when I bought it, I think I paid almost over $200 for it, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the one by Amazon. This one here by AEMC is listed on eBay right now and Amazon for, uh, the Amazon, I've seen it for like $200. $200. Uh, it comes in enough from another brand too, that's a, that's a division of AEMC, it's a Siobhan Ar Arnold. It's it'll, the same exact meter, but it'll be yellow. It'll be yellow. The rubber or uh, the boot will be uh, wait. Yeah, the boot will be yellow, and the inside of it will be this color right here. And then the same thing. They have Siobhan Arno, but it's still same EEMC. And you may purchase that one for like three hundred dollars. The same multimeter here. Um, now, um, this multimeter here has went up in price since I purchased it. Um, I guess I'm maybe about a year ago. I want to say. And uh, I got a real good deal on this one. But anyway, uh, it's, it's, it's highly accurate. And this one is accurate also. But we'll see how they pair against one another. Um, this is, I uh, have a 10 amp rating. It's a category four. You have uh, 600 volts. Uh, category four. Uh, 10 amp fuse. And this one is rated for, where are we? Uh, you have a 10 amp fuse. I'm trying to see the category. Oh, category four, 600 votes. Category three, 1,000 votes. And I'm looking for the other one on here. It's category four. Okay, it, uh, it doesn't say, just, just category four, 600 votes. Both need meters. This one have like an uh, analog, like a scale across the top. This one have an analog, like a bar graph at the bottom here. And this one have one at the top. Uh, both of them are really nice meters. Very nice meter. I don't have anything bad to say about any of them. I just want to do a comparison just to see which one um, will come out on top. I am uh, highly pleased with both of them. So with that being said, let me just get on with um, 
comparing the two. Let's, let me see. I'm going to use my Marriott. Let me plug it in. Plug it in and um, we'll see just how well they compare to one another, okay? All right, so you guys, here we are. All right, let me put it over some so you can kind of see both of them, okay? All right, I'm gonna turn the Variac on and we're gonna start off from Ten boats and work our way up. Okay, this should be ten, like ten boats right here. Wait, it's eleven boats, eleven point three. That's accurate. This one should be twenty boats. 20.7, that's real accurate. This one should be 30 votes. Give or take, it may be off or on a little bit, so we'll see uh, 30 votes. All right, that's 32.7. Uh, the next one should be 40. It may be spot on made up. Um, Forty-two point one, forty-two, forty-two point three. Okay, that's good. Forty-two. This should be uh, fifty. All right, at fifty. Let me. Oh, might be over. Okay. Both of them say fifty-three point five, fifty-three. Both of them are within spec. Let me go up a little bit higher. This should be uh, sixty. Fifty-nine point nine, fifty-nine point five. I uh, see that's 60 also. Okay, that's good. Let's do, uh, that should be 70. Right at 70. Sixty-nine, seventy. Okay, that's good. Let's do uh, 80. 80.3, 80. 80.5, 80. that's good. Let's do 90. 90.5, 90 90.3, 90 90.4, 90.6, that's real good. Let's do uh, 100. 99.6, 99.5, that's real good. Let's do uh, 110. That's good. 120. One nineteen point eight point nine. Good. Uh, one thirty. One twenty eight point eight. That's that's perfect enough. Uh, let's do one uh, forty. One thirty point nine. One thirty. Okay, that's still that's still is good. Let's do one fifty. One forty eight. Okay, still good. All right, this should be 156 right here, I think. Okay, good. Good. I think they all, they are, in fact, I don't think I know they both passed with flying colors. Um, I'm not surprised that either, that either kept up. Uh, because I do know both of these are real good meters. Uh, speaking of good meters, guys, uh, those of 
this meter, uh, that, that this one by the a AEMC, I, I was uh, fortunate enough to acquire uh, some of these from Amazon. They gave, uh, I don't know if it was, by, was by mistake or what, but they gave me a deal that I can't refuse, that I couldn't refuse, so I bought several of them. And I've been selling them on eBay. Um, they've been going quickly, guys. So if you want one, you can go to, today's date is uh, July 5th, uh, 2021. And as of today, I only have, I only have seven left. So um, if you go to eBay today, and, and scroll down. Uh, you're gonna pass up the ones there because they have some up there for 130, 140 dollars, 120 dollars, uh, 110, and all the way down. Scroll down till you get to the one that say 55 dollars. This is the one that, I, that I'm selling for 55 dollars. There's no other on that site for 55 dollars. They are all brand new in the box, not brand new. Like some of them say new, but not in the box. No. They're brand new in the box. Now, the problem there's no problem with that except you have to pay your own shipping. Wherever it is, you got to pay your own shipping. But for $55, guys, this meter right here, I'm selling on eBay. They're going quickly. If you want one, you better get it. You don't get you don't just get this meter. You get the meter with a nice bag that comes in like this. And you get uh, the thermocouple. The adapter, as well as the um, the uh, manual. This is a if the, you can see this uh, this the way this this, this uh, uh, pouch look. It's made of that Condora. This is a real nice pouch, not that old plastic stuff that you get from the meter that you buy from uh, certain companies out there, or you know certain multimeter little cheap stuff. No, this is a quality meter by AEMC. Those of you who've been in the, in the uh, been in the uh, game a long time for electrical, you know a, a thing or two about AEMC. They make some high quality tools. Fellas, this is for $55. You can't beat that. So if you go check now, I only have about seven left. They, uh, I mean, they've been going quickly. I want to thank all the guys who have made the purchase. Uh, and, and, you know, I hope you're enjoying your meter. In fact, I know you are. Um, so if you're interested, go check eBay right now before they all go. $55. Pay your own shipping. Uh, but anyway, guys, both of these meters are, are really nice. And if I had to pick one out of the two, I wouldn't, I couldn't pick out one out of the two because both of them are nice to me. If you give me, give me either one, I'll go with either one. I don't know which one to pick. I do like the graphic, the, uh, uh, the graphical uh, uh, in here, you know, that they have. It's just a graphical multimeter because I love graphical multimeters. But other than that, if it didn't have that, uh, so that's the, you know, that's what makes this one is over, you know, the, that feature. But without that feature, pound for pound, both of them are nice. Both of them are nice. They look nice. They feel, look how thick this meter is, man. This, this is not cheap at all. This one is not cheap either. Both of them are high quality meters. Put both of them together. This side, they're about this FOS thickness. This is really nice. Both of them are really nice. So, you know, if you're looking for a nice graphical multimeter, meter, and uh, Amazon, this is a nice one. Looking for a nice little multimeter to throw in your pouch, I mean, throw in your bag. This one, you can't beat the can't beat this one either. So anyway, guys, just want to thank you for letting me take up your time. I, I really appreciate it. I really enjoy making this video as all my videos. And if you have a comment, leave one. If you hit that like button, I'll appreciate it. You hit the subscribe button, that I appreciate even more. You do all three, thumbs up to you. Thank you for joining. I was glad we're glad to have you. Okay, so uh, you guys take care. And as always, until the next video, because there are more coming, peace out.